And now here at six, well, we are getting an update out of the East Valley because we are hearing from a father tonight after Gilbert police reopened several criminal investigations. This is coming just less than 24 hours after a night uh, walk that was for Preston Lord. He was beaten and killed uh, by a group of teens at a Halloween party. We want to turn now to Fox 10's Lindsay Regis. And Lindsay, you spoke with the victim's father. Uh, we're talking about another case, though, right, out of Gilbert where this victim was beaten outside of an in and out. Yes, Ellen, this particular assault and robbery happened on August 18th. Richard Keener told me his son went to pick up in and out that night when a group of teens jumped out of a truck and started attacking his son. Keener says his son started receiving threatening messages on Snapchat at the start of the school year. Keener first notified his son's high school and then the Chandler Unified School District. Now, days later, the assault happened outside of the in and out in Gilbert near Williamsfield Road and Market Street. Keener's son suffered internal kidney damage and blood could be seen coming out of his mouth. His Nikes were also stolen. So far, no arrests have been made in this case. Now, a week ago, police released photos of the teens believed to be involved in this assault, asking for assistance in identifying them. I'm grateful that it's open and we're making some progress, but I'm also frustrated as a parent that something didn't happen sooner. Uh, if any of these kids are the same kids that attacked Preston and they would have done the right thing, maybe Preston would be alive today. So um, I, I try not to think about that. Keener says after the attack, he sent his son overseas for his son's safety. Now, so far, he has spent $15,000 in medical bills for his son. Police have not connected this attack to the attack on Preston Lord or other cases of teen violence in the East Valley, but they are still investigating. Reporting in studio, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News.